So, have, how many of you have ever felt like you were dealt the worst hand ever? And that from birth, you were put into a position where you had to fight harder than others, where you had to struggle and you just, you question why. You question why some people were born with a silver spoon in their mouths and why others were born to fend for themselves, not know where their first meal or their last meal will ever come or be, or even if they were going to have um, a meal at all that day. Um, if they were going to have to fight off a sexual predator, if they were going to have to struggle to even get to and from school, to and from work, etc. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that has been faced with that question. So I don't know how many people have had that question. I'm pretty sure a lot of us have because we have a lot of people who believe in that Illuminati BS and we really relate that to people having success and not having to have worked hard for that success. Whereas we would want to believe that because we don't have that success that they've had to worship some God and or devil or some satanist um, or has some type of satanic beliefs and believe in witchcraft and Wiccan and all of that in order to have success in their life. So when I question where I've been, I don't technically, or I would never technically say, I believe this person believes in Illuminati and that's the reason why they have success and that's the reason why my entire life has been screwed from birth. I don't believe that. So, no, I don't believe in Illuminati. I don't believe in people worshiping some other type of higher power in order to have success in their lives. But I do believe that if we are dealt a bad hand, that we have the opportunity to make other choices. And, but we just are starting at a different point in life in order to get to those successes. And I really believe that throughout my life, regardless if I was born into a situation whereas um, I had parents who were on drugs, I dealt with being molested by the guy next door, being molested by men in my grandmother's rooming house, being molested and or raped by um, family members. I don't believe that those situations mean for me to not live to the best of my what I can do so and I don't believe that those would ever hinder me from living the best life that I could actually live I believe that those circumstances will only make me stronger will only make me push myself harder to have a much more fulfilling life than someone who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth however we can be persuaded by life's choices, persuaded by life's um, circumstances and situations that we're put into that pretty much gives us a, a self-destruction, a fear that we can't, a self-destruction of fear that regardless of what we did, we can't, we just can't. And this is the reason why we're this way. This is the reason why we were dealt this life to live a life that we didn't have a choice but to live it destructively. And I know that that's not true. I know that choices that I've made in life has literally been the wrong choices. They weren't thought out or they were assumed, you know, automatically, oh my God, this is, I have to hurt, I have to do this because this is going to deter me from doing this. This is going to hinder me from doing this. And, or I've had fear where I didn't make that choice that could have bettered my life because I had fear either from within or from listening to other people. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to continue to live with that fear, continue to live with that mental state of self-destruction. I can learn from that, learn to escape from that fear and grow from it and live outside of it. 